Who was your first love? Well, uh, it was a couple of years ago, and um, I was, well, if we look at it, I was relatively late to come out. My mother was a lesbian, so I kind of wanted to prove her wrong about being a homosexual. <laughs> Got to say it like that. Um, so I was sort of didn't deny it, but just didn't say it. Although having sort of like, I don't know what you'd say, the odd fumble as a, as a young man. Um, but my first love was a young man called Adam, who I met while absolutely trashed at the glamorous place that is Pop Stars. Um, I used to go every week because my friend used to get 150 drinks tickets and there'd be about three of us. So it was sort of a WKD and Red Stripe mixed together in a pint glass, very glamorous. I was either dressed as a sailor or Buddy Holly-esque. Um, it was those kind of days. Um, and I remember I was laid across the floor because I couldn't walk and somehow managed to pull, which was very exciting. And I remember venturing um, this very nice young boy, very confused, didn't know um, who he was completely, which I think I found very, very attractive. That sort of like wasn't entirely comfortable in his own skin, that sort of awkward geek that I loved. He was a music student. Um, was doing a year out at a cathedral of all places, playing the organ. And um, yeah, it was very, very exciting and very nice. I was his first kiss, which was very exciting. Um, yeah, it was a really, really, really nice relationship. It lasted a couple of years, um, but sadly drifted apart when he went to Cambridge and became an oddity, which people that go to Oxbridge do become an oddity, in all honesty. Um, but it was incredibly exciting and it was very, it was like a great learning curve, that mm. kind of thing of that, but also I think it was the learning curve was being absolutely mental when having, being dumped of all things. That going <laughs> fetal, I think I cried for the first time in 15 years, when fetal it lasted about 10 minutes and that was enough. Mm, absolutely. Exactly. Well, it's enough, babes. <laughs> She, she needs to remain. She has to have a front. <laughs> Are you in touch like with that. him now? Or? Yeah, we're still really, really good friends, which is really nice and stuff like that. He's got an opera coming out, which is very exciting. So, yeah. Still very attractive with things like that, such as writing own operas. And Always good to have accomplished first loves. Exactly. You don't want it to be some, like, getting fingered round by a bike shed or something <laughs> like that, do you? You want it to be sort of memorable. It was very nice. And I remember my very pushy mother messaging him on Facebook, which was always a very awkward conversation. Him being like, I think your mother messaged me. I'm like, yeah, yeah, she does that. She does that to people. She's very, um, she likes to be a part of involved. it. Involved. Very involved. <laughs> pushy, lesbian, upper middle class mother. You can't, you, they're sort of a... Yeah, a rare breed. <laughs> a very rare breed. A sort of um, Thomas Pink suits and asking... Have you been bummed yet? <laughs> Always terribly exciting at a family lunch.